Okay, this is a 1974 Honda CL360. First model year for the CL360. This one is actually a low production number, and if you can see the VIN here, but this is number 358. It was built in uh, September of 1973. The uh, engine number is also, what did I say, Three, 358, not 378. 358, this is number 358, <clears throat> came off the line in September of 73, it's a 1974 model, Honda CL360, um, let's see, what I'm going to tell you about this, it's, it's, uh, <clears throat> well, let's start with a tank, it's, um, it's got scratches in the paint, little uh, blemish on the side panel here the uh, aluminum side covers are are oxidized some paint coming off the frame here and there when I got this I, I pulled it out of a shed in Nebraska and uh, I took it completely apart and cleaned all the goo off it didn't run can see here this paint this is like worn off here we got a little dent up here let me get a better picture of that uh, this side covers same thing got a little blemish in the paint there so it's um more oxidized aluminum but the thing runs great it um you can read about this bike Everything I did to it on uh, stbrucey.wordpress.com. Um, that's probably the best place to go for that information rather than me repeat everything here. Front fender, pretty good shape. Front tire's got good tread on it. Brakes are good. Some rust here cables are good I think I replaced all the cables except for the clutch clutch cable still the original gray everything else is the black black cables um, new petcock exhaust is yeah, it's got some it's got some blemishes here and there but it's the chrome is still pretty good See, we got you know paint scratches here and there. Had a crack in the tail light here that's been glued. All the electrics work. The wheels are straight. Got pretty good tread on the back tire. A good chain. Good shocks. Now those are showing. You know, got some blemishes. One of them where the. Maybe you can see the little rust spot starting to start showing the chrome there and the shock absorbers. Um, the brakes are good. All the electrics work except except the horn. Um, again, air boxes on these. I have the I have air boxes, but I hate those things. So I put the uh, it's got the unifilters on them. So let me show you under the seat. A little bit of rust, but it's not uh, not terribly bad yet. Good battery. Battery's good. It's only a year or so old. Let me pull this side cover off, and you can see it's got that kind of an air filter on it, not the air boxes. I hate those things, but I have them if you want them. Um, one thing is the. Uh, the key operated seat latch is missing. Don't know where that went. I suspect that the uh, key got broke off in there at one time and they had to just take the whole thing off. 
Um, so there's quite a bit of paint worn off here where, where the seat rubs. So to hold the seat in place, I just use a uh, a little hitch pin, a little where is it? A little hitch pin like that, that would fit in there. That kind of holds the seat in place. Um, went through the carburetors. I do have another set of carburetors, spares. There, uh, the throttles are stuck. The soft slides are stuck. I haven't tried to get them apart, so I don't know if they're actually rebuildable or not. Never tried to take them apart. Um, little picture of the underside of the engine here. Ooh, gooey there. I need to wash that. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I didn't want to bother you. Okay, well, the front tire's kind of dirty, but, you know, it's not weather checked or anything. It holds air. It's good. Back tire, same condition. Um, this is a six-speed. It shifts fine. It shifts fine. Um, yeah, a little dirty down there. Missed a spot when I washed it. Uh, went through the carburetors. New petcock. I think I already mentioned that. New points condenser. Um, so everything's been set with the you know, dwell meter. My timing light runs good. What else can I tell you? Seat's in good shape. You've seen under the seat. Oh, there's a frame number. You can see that a little bit better now, maybe. CL360 1000358. Forks are good. They do, I put new fork seals in it, but they do tend to weep a little bit. Yet. Oh, I'm going to show you uh, inside of the tank inside of the tank when I got it looked, looked more like that but it was all surface rust um, I was able to clean that out pretty well with a weak very weak solution of uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acid new gasket so yeah it's um, tanks relatively clean gauges work mirrors are are there and uh, work so might as well start it up I guess this is a cold start turn the key on turn the gas on flip the choke up hit the starter button Oop, got it. I can't start. It's getting warm already, but I can I can hang on to it for a while. So cold engine start. They run good. They're, um, well, you can read about it at the St. Bruce website, all the stuff I did to it. I did have the top end off. It's got, it had um, valve guides replaced, valve job, you know, the cylinders and these new rings, which really woke it up. It runs, it runs really well. And I guess that's about all I can say about it right now. Give you one more walk around.